I have a word for you today. I'm so excited. Let's get with it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Fine Life channel. My name is Nerida Miller. If it's your first time here, I want to invite you to join the Fine Life family and hit that subscribe button right here. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so that YouTube knows that you are interested in my videos. I really appreciate that. It helps our channel grow. Now, I really enjoy bringing Faith Friday videos and vlogs, reviews, and daily stuff. Let me tell you guys, I was praying about what the Lord wanted me to bring in this video for Faith Friday. Not so long ago, I put a poll on Instagram and the second voted response for what you guys wanted to see were more faith friday videos the number one was marriage and relationship videos so i've been doing more marriage and relationship videos and then the second um you know highest vote was faith friday so yes we are continuing to do faith friday videos and guys now to the topic of this video i was praying about it and it came to mind it was when god says no this is something that i'm letting you know because it's not just something I studied. It's not just something I've read somewhere. I've been going through this. This is, I'm speaking to you from experience and how the Lord has spoken to my life with my situation. Now, a little bit of backstory, guys. Bear with me here. I was a person since I was a little kid that would pray to God and I would see the Lord's movement and hands work upon my life. I would see the Lord manifest in my life whether through other to other people at church, how he provided for our family, how he would cover and protect us from harm. Although my childhood wasn't the brightest, but the Lord just made it so much better and protected us from so much harm and really covered our family. So what I'm getting at with this was that every time I would pray, I would feel like, wow, Jesus loves me. Like Jesus answers me. Jesus is real, right? Okay, so then as I grew up, you know, got married, um, the first year of marriage, my husband and I were, weren't trying to have kids right away. Um, I was finishing my bachelor's degree. He was also finishing school. But then when we started to try to have kids, nothing was happening. It was like crickets, you know? <laughs> and then um, I was praying so much for this blessing, this miracle, and going through roller coaster of emotions. What's wrong with me thinking what's going on and concern and worry. Long story short, I have a whole um, trying to conceive playlist. If you're interested in those videos, check that out as well up here. Um, so guys, then it got to the point where I wasn't seeing those answered prayers so fast. And it got to the point in my life where I felt like, did God say no? Does God not want me to be a mom? Do I not have the potential to be a mom? Like, I'm made for this. I love this. This is my one of my dreams since I was a young kid to become a parent. So, with all this being said, it's not that God said no. It was just not the time and it's God's way. This is a brief example. So you know that I could relate to you and I get it when you are praying about something and you want something to activate in your life and it's just not happening and you're like, Oh my gosh, does God not want this for me? Or, oh my gosh, does God hear my prayer? Did God press the pause button? Is God ignoring me? And the answer is no. God is not ignoring you. He hears you. He wants his creations, his children. He wants people like you to pray. He wants everyone to talk to him, to pray, to believe in him. But sometimes we don't hear God in our lives because he is working on our behalf and it's a test of faith. And sometimes God would say no to something for three reasons. What are the three reasons why God would say no to something in our life? Reason number one, when God says no, he may not be saying no for eternity. He may be saying, wait, it's a later yes. And that's something I've been learning so much. And something beautiful, guys, there's three, this is one. Something beautiful that like was revealed to me and, and I started to look up what weight was in the Bible and, and, and learning about the power of waiting. It's so profound and I'm gonna do a whole study on the power of waiting in, in Christ and the promises. That'll be another Faith Friday video, but correlating to the to, to God's no, right? To wait. Did you know the 
Hebrew word for weight is, I'm gonna read it because I don't wanna say it wrong, I have my notes. The Hebrew word for weight is kava, okay? And kava means, oh my gosh, guys, I was like, God, you're so amazing, was wait with anticipation. And it hit me, my light bulb went up. When you wait with anticipation, if you're anticipating something, that means you believe it's gonna happen. You have certainty that you that it's gonna happen. You have hope. That means that it's a faith builder because I have to believe it. I have to trust in the Lord's timing and just trust in him so much that I could wait patiently. I have the anticipation that it's going to happen. So see right there, God's not saying no. He's saying wait. So sometimes God's no is waiting, but do you have enough faith? Maybe that's why you're going through this. Maybe that's why you're in your season of God's temporary no, that God's wait, that later yes. So that between the time of, of you asking and seeking God about it and crying out, about your your pleas with God to the moment of you actually seeing that fulfill in your life, what are you gonna do in between? Are you gonna complain and slander God? Or are you gonna trust God? Are you gonna worship? Are you gonna pray? Are you gonna fast? Are you gonna say, Lord, what do you want me to do in this period of waiting? There's power in you, that's your faith building. So sometimes God's no is not no, it's wait. The second reason why God would say no is that he has something better for you. God knows all things, okay? Sometimes we get ahead of ourselves as people. And there's a Bible verse that tells us this. There's um, in Proverbs chapter 16, verse nine, it says, a man plans his course, but the Lord redires his path. I love this Bible verse. And as I say Bible verses, you guys know I always put it down here so you have it. Um, and I know there's different translations, but it's all the same, the same thing. So we have it here. Look, whichever way it helps you understand it better, go with that translation but the message is the same the overall message so what god's saying with this is hey you that you don't know what's going to happen in the future may plan or think something is good now but because i am all knowing that's god speaking because i'm all knowing i'm protecting you and covering you from what is to come and he's going to protect you and how things could affect if he allows it it's for you to learn and grow from it and if he's not allowing it he's protecting you so sometimes god is protecting you and the third reason is because he has something better okay now when you're waiting or asking for something in the Lord he says in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 in the book of Isaiah 40 31 it says those who wait on the Lord the Lord will renew your dream and you may be thinking how on earth is it gonna give me strength waiting on God and I'm going crazy desperate because I really want this blessing in my life I really want this to fulfill well there is the beauty in the season of waiting you have to cling on to God and that promise and that desire for whatever you're asking God for so much and through his word and through only through the power of God he's going to strengthen you so that you can overcome that time that sees God is amazing the Lord isn't going to say no without him having a reason to say no that's the thing okay the Lord says no with a plan and the Lord will make it happen. How many times have you planned something in your life and that thing just didn't come to pass? And then later on in the future, you look back like, oh my gosh, thank God I didn't do this. Thank God I didn't go out with this person. Thank God I didn't make this decision. Thank God I didn't say yes to that because, oh my gosh, look how that turned out. And now I'm so glad I'm not part of that. You see? So it works the same way with the Lord says, uh-uh, hold on. You're getting too ahead of yourself. Let me redirect your path real quick. And, and, and you know, he guides his, his sheep, you know? He is our shepherd. So he's gonna like make sure that we'll, we are well aligned so that we don't become lost or hurt or damaged by anything. That's so powerful. That is so good, guys. Now guys, know that the Lord, he's not going to do this to hurt you or harm. Sometimes people feel that the Lord says no or makes them wait to like torture them. That's not the God we serve. That's not the God we believe. In. It's all with good interest and your best interest and purpose at heart okay in the chat in the book of isaiah chapter 60 verse 22 says i the lord will make it happen so all you need to do is just trust and believe in the lord he's gonna make it happen he's not a ma 
man for his word to turn void especially if that is a promise that god has for you in your life and your family and your generation your household he's not a man for his word to turn void he's definitely going to make it happen now the third reason why god says no is because he has something better for us and i love it it says in psalms chapter 84 verse 11 it says no good thing is withheld from those who walk up right yes Woo! so part of the journey of growing and strengthening in the lord you're gonna be someone who walks upright in the lord that that's gonna be another vlog too what does that mean to walk upright it means i'm staying faithful and loyal and i'm trusting in god and i'm not gonna leave his his path or not believe in him because i'm not getting my way when i want it you see we're so used to those microwave answers you know like microwave like it's gonna happen like this I'm gonna pray about it and it's now and in my timing and in my way and life doesn't happen like that okay we have to know that we are not all knowing and all powerful there is a higher power which is jesus christ our lord and savior that sees and knows all things and is gonna help us and give us something better don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe go ahead and click that, that subscribe button now as we always say here Stay well, be blessed, and continue to live the fine life.